and welcome back to the Los Alamitos previous show. Here this coming Saturday, Los Alamitos is going to have two very well-regarded first-time starters going post for it. A lot of action going on with both the quarter horses and thoroughbreds here this weekend. To get a preview, let's now go to our Director of Marketing and Publicity, Orlando Gutierrez. The racing excitement continues at Los Alamitos with another great doubleheader of racing action. The Grade 2 Great Lady M Stakes featuring defending champion Fantastic Style will head the daytime racing action this weekend, while top juvenile runners will take the spotlight during the evening at Los Alamitos Racecourse. First, a reminder that this Saturday at Los Alamitos, we will host a $25,000 guarantee handicapping contest during the daytime starting at 2 p.m. Five seats to the National Handicapping Championship will be up for grabs in the contest at Los Alamitos on Saturday. This is a live money contest and a lot of fun, and you can sign up starting on Friday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on the second level of the Grandstand Building. You can also sign up on Saturday starting at 2 p.m. All the info can be found at LosAlamitos.com. The evening quarter horse action on Saturday night will be headed by the debut of the talented two-year-old Fitz for trainer Jose Flores. Seen here working on the outside, the call by Mr. Jess Perry posted the fastest of 48 workouts on April the 2nd when covering the distance of 220 yards in 12 seconds flat. Fitz is out of the mayor Dividends Declare from the breeding stock of Double Bar S Ranch. Dividends Declare was a stakes place runner during her racing days, and she's a sister to AQHA champion 440 Blast. Also racing on Saturday night will be Redneck Ryan from the Red Hot Stable of trainer Paul Jones. Redneck Ryan is seen here working from the inside post on April the 2nd. The separatist Cole covered the 220 yards in 12-1, the second fastest work that morning. One of the bright stories of 2016 is the breakthrough campaign being enjoyed by jockey Roberto Hernandez. The young pilot won his first major stakes earlier this month when he piloted the tremendous Philly Just Good Reason to victory in the La Primera del Año Derby. Just last week, and Roberto Hernandez enjoyed a riding triple aboard quarter horses, and his confidence on the saddle appears to grow with each passing week. Looking ahead to next weekend, don't forget the trials of the Robert Adair Kindergarten Futurity on Sunday, May 1st. With more horses still eligible for the trials this year than in recent seasons, the kindergarten trials promise to be a spectacular night of quarter horse racing. Look for the likes of James Cartel and Scholarly, a pair of impressive main winners, to be among the horses to watch next week at Los Alamitos Racecourse. Well, thanks, Orlando. Talking about Fitz and talking about Redneck Ryan, both hey, yes. are going post. We're here on Saturday, Les. I made one horse. Fitz, 7-5, Redneck Ryan, 8-5. Who's your choice? Well, I, I'm going to go to the outside horse. I mean, the outside horse, Redneck Ryan, is a horse. I think I gave him an A work. So with Fitz and these two horses, talking about final clocking wise, they may be the fastest, uh, I think, of, of the maybe debuters so far this year. Right, depending on how the track's playing, yes. whether we got mm -hmm. any win, that could be a very fast race. Uh, I love the improvement on Fitz's second drill yeah. when he went to 12 flat, loaded past the wire. It was a, a huge workout, in my opinion, and Redneck Ryan did everything right. So I think you're going to be looking at two very talented two-year-olds here on Saturday. And again, we have the great lady M Stakes for the Thoroughbreds during the daytime. Make your plans to be here. Rafael Bayorano, who's won numerous riding titles over at Santa Anita, coming out to ride fantastic style for Bob Baffert and the great lady M. So I think you're looking at a terrific horse here in fantastic style and the great lady M on Saturday afternoon.